All I ever needed was serenity. Yeah. What's up? It's yeah. your girl Sammy B. Bring. Welcome to Serenity Saturdays, episode eight. Let's get into it. I had this graffiti artist named Ends Up. And um, I was like, yo, I got some walls for you to come spray. Come tag it up. Come do your thing. So he brought a friend down. And they just went crazy on, on this little nook area. Just can't predict what the future brings But God willing, I'ma do my thing And a million people gon' hear this shit Now listen You see, I came here to relay the message He wrote it down, I recorded a segment He broke it down, so we learned lessons He showed me how I rebelled against it Said I need a sign, so compelled in essence But the love was messy and a poor connection And all that pain brought into the present Was all a blessing Yeah It was all a blessing I said to the guys while they were spray painting You know, first they had to prime the wall with a, with a color It was almost like a chocolatey, purpley-ish color whatever and and I was like let me help you so I'm painting it and I got paint all over my J's I was tired but I accepted it and now I'm going to come back with some something dope that I did to them I'm probably gonna splash more different color paint on them or some shit <laughs> but uh yeah I guess I'll show you guys what I end up doing with those also my grandpa found this piece of wood that was cut out and he was like come pick this up and do something to this because he knows I'm creative as hell so I picked it up you know and I took it down to Leo's shop and we sanded it brought it back I stained it and I started to wood burn it when I am done with it I will definitely show you as of right now it is still a process so yeah i dropped the joy is ep you gotta check it out i uploaded a uh, lyric video so you guys could you know hear it and listen along and read along now the most asked question is how do i get what you got and then i don't even know where to start but the joy is in the journey It's destiny. I tried to outrun help. I tried to run for myself. I had to run to the help. I had to break out the sound. I had to break out my shell. I had to brace what I felt. I couldn't hide no more. Got my stunner shades on and I'm riding in the drop. And they ain't even about the money that I got. It's about the feeling that you get when you're on top. And you have risen from the bottom of the bottom. Yeah, I can relate. Honored. I was honored to be a part of the Naj Murph Scholarship Fund. I got a shout out Jill and I got a shout out on the office vault for, for making this possible. Whoever else is playing part in making this all possible. Each entrepreneur or whatever that's asked to be a part of it donates one item of theirs that's original and for this in particular. So I did a painting. What I painted was a, a broken record. I had cracked it in half. And it broke into certain pieces and, and the, the crazy part of it is there was one piece within the two two main pieces that cracked and it was a uh, it hollowed out and that resembled one that resembled january for me and when i had cracked all the other pieces all the other pieces fell into seven pieces so that resembles the seventh and it's so wild but january 7th is the date that that naji murf passed away um and ascended to his higher self most high self um, and he was such a huge inspiration to me. So to do this in honor of him and for a great cause was amazing for me. The whole time I was painting it, I was listening to his music, to his freestyles. Um, at the top corner, it is Jay Walking on the Sun. And that's one of my favorite songs by him. I took the quote that I painted um, from one of Naj Murph's Instagram pictures and captions. And it is him, Marist and 
uh, delivering the commencement address for the graduating class and um, the quote said, I used to think it'd take a lot of money to be impactful, that I'd have to be rich to be able to help. Well, I realized you can be rich in knowledge and experience as well. This is just further confirmation as to why I took the leap of faith to move home and to allow my wildest dreams to unfold. Murph love God, Murph love music, but most of all, Murph love the kids. Rest in peace, Murph. You'll live on forever. My girl Jill, she's amazing. Um, she did a, a reading for me. Um, she pulled some cards and it was fire and it ended up inspiring the word of this month. So yeah, check it out. Ooh, acceptance. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Acceptance. Okay, let me look up the acceptance card. Right now, your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control burning bowl ritual perhaps doing so will help you realize that there is a rhythm a rhyme or a reason rhythm rhyme or reason oh i feel like that's so you uh, <laughs> to everything in life rather than thinking that there are accidents that are occurring refer to these conditions as moments of divine design Maybe it is a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience. Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are condoning a behavior that you support it. You see it for what it is and recognize that there is something rich to learn from it. And it's so crazy. It says practice tolerance, grace, and patience. And the other card that fell out is patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Patience. So I'm going to read that one next. Patience. Earth has become a place of instant gratification. You must focus on the maxim. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. You need to learn that the universe is a rhythm. <laughs> There's that word again to everything in the universe. And the more you are living with patience, the more aware you are of the lessons your soul is studying. You are on a path. There are signposts. If you are speeding down the path, you will miss the little miracles and treasures that have been placed there for you. So in my um, reading with Jill, the three words that came up the most were acceptance, patience, and rhythm. So, you know, the first word was acceptance. The main word was acceptance. So the word of the month is acceptance acceptance right here on google is the action of consenting to receive or undertake something offered and i scroll down a little bit and it says what is the true meaning of acceptance and here it says acceptance in human psychology is a person's assent to the reality of a situation recognizing a process or condition of the negative or uncomfortable situation without attempting to change it or protest it just because it's often negative uh, it doesn't always have to um, that's why, like, you know, we, we accept these blessings that we deserve. And, um, I mean, throughout this year thus far, like, I've really practiced um, a lot of, of positive affirmations, a lot of manifestation, a lot of just being open to what this universe and what God and the spiritual world is, is giving to me. Um, I'm open to receiving it. Um, there's so much that goes with the word acceptance. There's so much that goes into that. I am... In recovery serenity prayer which is god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference being okay with life in itself um has a lot to do with being accepting of whatever is meant for you um, and it has a lot to do with having faith and believing that what's meant for you will be um you know and that what's happened is a lesson or a blessing and, and and there's always something to learn there's always something to take from a situation whether it be um, negative or positive for me acceptance is so much <laughs> it's it's accepting my position and my purpose and my path in life for me that i am an addict and i know for me um, that when i start using drugs or whenever i'm under the influence of something that takes me outside of myself i my life can become unmanageable and i lose control very quickly so um I accept that it takes for me to be clean and it takes for me to be spiritually connected um, 
to be good in life, to get the most out of life, to be happy, to be joyous, to be free. Acceptance is a good word. I really want you guys to think about what acceptance means to you because for me to begin this amazing journey, I really had to become aware first of everything, the good, the bad, the indifferent, and then accept it all as well. And I think having acceptance is an everyday surrender. It's a process and um, it's a blessing. So yeah, that's the word of the month. My uncle Vinny passed away this month, so that was definitely very tough. Um, definitely one of those things that's hard to accept, uh, especially death of a loved one. That's 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 tough. Um, but yeah, he was he was really good friends with my dad growing up, and that's actually the reason why I came about. To be honest, because my uh, my dad was introduced to my mom. Mom and dad met at my aunt and uncle's wedding because my aunt's my mom's sister so she was her bridesmaid and my dad was good friends with my uncle so he was his groomsman and they were matched up and it was a match made in heaven <laughs> but yeah uh, if you guys don't know my dad also passed away so i just wanted to put this picture up of of the two of them and rest in peace to both of them i love you both and thanksgiving was this month which i am very grateful and thankful on a regular basis um but Thanksgiving was definitely different this year as my Uncle Vinny was always the host pretty much of Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah, it was different and obviously COVID, it's, just, it's been different. So, um, you know, it was a small gathering, but I did have a bomb plate of food. And I did a super dope drip painting, actually, down at Leo's once again. <laughs> it's the creative spot, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It's the first drip painting I've ever done. And I had so much fun with it. So I'm going to show you the picture of it. As it's drying still, it still hasn't dried actually. Once it's dried and stuff, there's certain fluorescent paints in there that's going to look super dope with the black light on it. So I'll be sure to show you guys that also. Mm -hmm.